Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a restaurant website using Wix. The first thing you want to do is go onto Wix.com and you'll sign up using your email address. It's completely free to get started. Once you have done that, you are going to select create new site and you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all I want you to do in the search bar, you are going to type in restaurant so you'll see restaurant right here you're going to tap on that then select next once you have done that you will be redirected to this page and from here you can enter your restaurant name let me enter a name real quick After you have entered the name, you are going to tap on next. Then you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can add any one of these features that you would like your restaurant to have. For example, more than likely, you are going to want it to have chat. And you'll definitely need the restaurant menus and also food orders. And also, if you would like persons to be able to reserve table, you can tap on table reservation. Then you can also scroll down and if you would like persons to be able to book, you can tap on that and you can also create events right here and you can also add a blog if you want. And also if you would like to add your Instagram feed, which more than likely you will to build your social media presence, you could tap on the Instagram feed right there and you can scroll down and see if you see any more features that you would like to add but for now i will stick with these four right here then i'm going to tap on next after selecting next you have two options you can either get wix to build a website for you or you can tap on begin with a template for this example i'll select begin with a template And from here, you can see numerous restaurant websites template. So all you have to do is scroll down until you see one that you like. So let me see right here. I like this one. And I like this one also, the pizza restaurant. Nice. So I'll select this one right here, the pizza restaurant. So all you have to do is tap on edit. Then you're going to give Wix a few seconds to finish uploading your template. You can see that it has finally finished updating and this is how it will look. So all you have to do now, you can scroll down to preview your new website. So all you have to do is scroll down. And from here, if you would like to make any changes, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option. And you're going to see the plus to add elements. And this is a slight preview of how it looks. To increase the size, all you have to do is tap on the plus in the top right hand corner, right where you see 100% on my screen. Then from here, for example, if you would like to change the name, you'll simply scroll down right where you see the name right here. You're going to tap on that section. Then you'll simply tap on the text box, then you're going to select edit text. After selecting edit text, all you have to do is type in the text that you would like to add. So for my example, I named mine simple. So let's put it in. And you can also change the font style if you want, right where you see fonts. You could select a font style as you can see right there if you want and you can also change the size of the font you can care about the size of the font or you could increase the size of the font you can edit it whichever way you want and you can also edit the color of the font also so you could change the color of the font at the moment so let me change this real quick And after you're finished, what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on add elements. And from here, if you would like to add a video or so on, you can do that. 
by simply scrolling down and you'll be able to select video and music. Then after doing that, you can select Wix video. Then you can add any one of these video boxes to any page that you want. And by the way, if you would like to remove a page or edit a specific page in the top left hand corner, right where you see home, you could tap on that arrow. And as you can see at the moment, we have the home page, which we are currently on. You also have the menu and you have the reservations page. So if I were to go onto the menu page, you can see it right here. So this is the menu page at the moment. So you can start adding your menu. As you can see right here, give it a few seconds to load up. You can see a perfect example of how your menu could look. And all you have to do is edit this section and add in the dishes that you would want to add on your menu. And you can also add an image if you want. Again, all you have to do is tap on the section that you would like to add the image. Then after you have done that, you'll go over to the top left hand corner and you'll simply tap on the plus at the top that says add elements. Then you're going to select image. And after selecting image, all you have to do is tap on upload image and you could add your own image to any section of your website. And also you can scroll down, you can scroll all the way down. And you'll be able to edit the footer section. You can edit any section of your website. So for example, if you do not want to have the join mailing list, you can edit this section by simply tapping on it. Then all you have to do right here is right click and you'll be able to delete this section if you want. Or if you would like to add something more to the footer, you can do that and you can also change the footer color Right where you see change strip background, you could tap on that to change the color if you want. But since we have set that up, the next thing I want you to do, excuse me, is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select the third option from the top that says pages and menu. And from here, you will see the various pages that we have. We have the menu, reservations, online ordering, you could toggle that on and then you have location and hours. And also if you want to add maps, you could add the maps right there. As you can see right here, you could simply tap on the three dots, then tap on show. And you can see that it is now enabled. So now persons can tap on the map to find out where in particular your restaurant is. And if you would like to add more pages, you can do that. You can go over to the Wix table reservation right here. You could tap on that. And from here, you could set up the reservation. So you could tap on this to edit reservations. And also, if you would like to add more pages, all you have to do is tap on pages and menu, then tap on add page, and you'll be able to add a page. Let's say I want to add an about page. All I have to do is tap on page. Then you'll see about page. You could add an about page. If you would like to add a contact page, you could tap on contact. And then you will see different templates of how a contact page will look. And you can tap on add page. And now a contact page will be added to your website. All you have to do is tap on add page. It's quite easy to set up. And after doing that, all you're going to do now is go back over to the left and menu option and you can start editing your contact page as you can see right here. And by the way, you can delete any one of these pages from the menu from the better yet from your navigation bar if you want by simply tapping on the three dots right beside it. So let's say, for example, I would like to remove the maps. All you have to do is tap on the three dots. Then you will see the option delete and you could delete that particular page as you can see right there. And you can also move them in order. So let's say, for example, I want to move the contact page. All you have to do is tap on the page you want to move. Then you could drag it to where you want it, as you can see right there. And once it is to your liking, I want you to go over to the left and menu option again. 
and from here you are going to select right where you see settings after selecting settings from here you can add a firecon if you want and the firecon would be the small image that appears in the search bar at the top right there you can also add your social media accounts and you can also do marketing, email marketing. You can set that up also on Wix by tapping on market, marketing integration. And by the way, if you would like to be of your website to be available in multiple languages, you can tap on multilingual right here and you could set that up. And also, if you would like to accept payments on your website, all you have to do is select business info right here. And from here, you'll be able to start accepting payments. So you'll be able to add your payment providers and how you would like it to be set up. So for example, you could add PayPal and so on. After you're finished with all of this, what I want you to do is go over to the top right hand corner. And from here, you're going to add publish. Just give this a few seconds to load up. As you can see right here, you'll be able to also add your logo and you can add the location of your business and you can also add your contact info and your opening hours, which will be important since you're creating a restaurant website. So right where you'll see business hours, you'll tap on edit and you'll now be able to add your opening hours. And as I said earlier, you can go over to the left hand menu option Right where you see finances, you could tap on payments and from here you'll be able to set up how you receive payments. As you can see, you can set up recurring invoice and you can add numerous payment methods. You will simply tap on manage payment methods right here. Once it is finished and to your liking, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. And from here, you'll simply tap on done and that's it. And if in the future you'd like to add a branded domain, you can do that by tapping on upgrade now. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.